control. It's so out of control right now, it's unbelievable. And Charles Smith ushers Starks aside. First half, he now has 16 points. And Ian John Starks going at it, uh, talking it up right throughout, picking up their little intramural verbal battle. Earlier today, Al Troutwick uh, talked about... Starks got a piece of it as he and Miller came together. Loose ball foul. And the call went in favor of Reggie Miller. And Starks and Miller got at each other. And John Starks has been fought out. Look at Yui's reaction. Look at Yui and Oakley. They're beating Starks up. Oh, they are so upset with Starks. Just not a smart move. Starks thrown out because he lost control. Significant player, and now he is gone for the game. He was, let's see, here it is. It was a headbutt by Starks. Well, Reggie had been talking as we captured earlier. John Starks and Reggie Miller got into it. Starks headbutted Reggie Miller and was immediately ejected. Let's take another look at it. Oh. Now you see Miller's head go back, and he is so happy that official Jim Clark is right there to see it. That's identified, as Jake O'Donnell just told us, as a flagrant two. 36 led Indiana. His war of words with John Starks led to this retaliation. And with Starks' ejection came a tongue lashing from the captain. The Knicks knocked off by 23. The Miller-Starks thing, what'd you think? I had the best seat in the house. I had a front row seat to watch Reggie Miller take Starks out of the game. He told me be before the game that he would definitely go after Starks, and it happened, and Reggie got Starks ejected. Third period is when it happened. Let's take a look at the videotape, as they say, from Market Square Arena. Here comes Starks talking to Reggie, and here comes the headbutt. Starks ejected. Today he was fined $5,000. Here's Pat Riley. Reggie Miller is a, a great, great basketball player. But if you stop and think, he's been the only player that ever got Michael Jordan ejected. <laughs> so there's got, there ain't a better talker around than Reggie Miller if he can take the best player and most disciplined player in the league and get him upset. We get the point, but just to clarify, Jordan was not ejected. He was later suspended after the first run-in with Miller. You played with Reggie. Is this just all part of the package, all the talk? I tell you, it looks like Hulk Hogan head, but only 150 <laughs> pounds lighter. But Reggie's a great trash talker. Some people call it arrogant. Reggie calls it confidence. He's very confident in his abilities to play the game, and he'll take anybody out of the game if they listen to him. Reggie loves people to answer back to him, and if they do, they're in trouble, like Starks did. He sort of gives that body language, like, get off me, you ain't good enough to check me. When we're on the road and he gets on a, on a, on a string of, of hitting shots and he, he talks to fans, he talks to the players, he talks to everybody. He was talking uh, in game three, you know, but that didn't bother me at all. It was just, you know, when somebody starts to uh, take cheap, uh, cheap shots on you, then, uh, you know, you can only take so much. What did your teammates tell you at the court when you walked off? <laughs> they told me it was uh, a bad move on my part, which it was. And uh, I accept the blame, and uh, you know, but we have to deal with it and, and move on. I don't think I, I did anything to John to make him mad. I think something happened earlier in the day, maybe room service was made or something, or something like that. But I don't think it was what, <laughs> between him and I, I don't think that's what made him upset. He never stops talking, and even in the locker room. I mean, he's making light of the thing. And I mean, how do, what's the player's viewpoint? What did you think when you saw that happen last night? Well, I tell you, Reggie, after the game, he said he thought Starks ordered uh, Reggie Miller doll, and, and, then, and they didn't give it to him so he can stick the pins in it so Reggie wouldn't show up. Obviously, <laughs> it didn't work. Reggie showed up. Starks didn't. And that, they say, is that. The other side of trash talk, though, was being able to take it and not letting somebody ruffle your feathers and not hurting your team like John Starks did. He, he lost it and went after him. Well, John Starks is one of the frontline players, and for them to win against the Pacers, he has to be there. He has to score 20 to 30 points for them to be successful. If he's not there, I think it's going to be a game five if he doesn't, if he doesn't show up and play well. To tell you the truth, I really don't talk trash. Um, I think that incident was more because, uh, you know, John was running out and I was hitting threes on him, and uh, he got a little bit frustrated. But, um, you know, it's more to motivate myself. You know, I'm a very self-motivating guy, and it gets myself pumped up. It is not to de degrade anyone. Um, I go out there to have fun, and uh, it to get the crowd into it, and I think he took it kind of personal. Well, what do you say? How well, did you get under my uh, skin if, if, if I was guarding you or you were guarding me? Well, first of all, I'll tell you, this tie is a Kmart tie. <laughs> and then I'll tell you, uh, you know, this little handkerchief. And you, you know what I do? I moment. go boom. <laughs> John's a fierce competitor, and um, I give him credit for that. But um, so much was made of New York's uh, mental toughness, and I wanted to test that. And, um, you know, I succeeded. Here, Reggie Miller. 
trying to get Allen Houston to lean in to draw that foul. Houston does a good job of avoiding, but no protection in the backcourt. It's rare to get that kind of an easy basket in playoff situations. Mullen down the lane. Beautiful move from Chris Mullen. And we have some pushing and shoving after the basket starts. He may have been thrown out of the game. Terry Durham, I believe, just threw him out of the game. Durham signaling, pointing his arm up in the air as if you're ejected. Did not make a technical foul sign, but Warby threw him out. Now the officials are going to get together here to try to decipher what happened. I saw Chris Mullen immediately go over to Reggie Miller and say, keep quiet, I think you're all right. Starks and Miller coming off the baseline, getting all tangled up. Nothing unusual there. But now Reggie Miller getting his arms up and under John Starks, and then Starks trying to disengage himself threw his arms and flailed, and no doubt caught Reggie Miller. They're di disputing right now about Durham throwing him out. Oh, yeah, left elbow right into the face of Reggie Miller. These two have a real history. Obviously, several years ago, Starks with the headbutt on Miller. They've gone at it a number of times. But in such an important game for both teams to get involved in this stuff, and have a chance of being thrown out is absolutely ridiculous. Starks has been under control most of the playoffs. He's known for his emotional outbursts in the past, but he's played extremely well in the postseason. And I don't think he's, I think they're gonna rescind throwing him out. Miller's call for a personal foul. Starks a flagrant foul, but he's not ejected. Dick Bavetta went right over to Terry Durham and I think maybe said to him, hey, I don't know if you want to throw him out on that. But Durham clearly gave the sign he was gone. Well, John Starks very lucky on that play. You can see the right side of Reggie Miller's face. Very red right now from that shot. If you throw an elbow and connect above the neck, you can be and should be thrown out of the ballgame. Now, I guess the question is, did the officials, the three of them in their judgment, come to the agreement as to whether or not John Starks connected. In the lower left-hand corner, left side, John Starks and Reggie wow. Miller, and there is no doubt, obviously, that there was connection there. Miller hitting the free throws on the flagrant foul. Starks with a real hard shot on Miller. Miller with that first elbow there, but certainly not as severe as Starks, and as you mentioned, Matt, on any flagrant foul, an official, if he feels it deemed necessary, he can throw you out of the game just on the first flagrant foul regardless. Exactly, but the connection with an elbow above in the head area, that's automatic as far as the, uh, the rules are concerned. Jeff Van Gundy will wisely get John Starks out right now, but with all that bumping and grinding and grabbing and holding, a foul should have been called before that. The rivalry continues between these two Eastern Conference teams. As we mentioned, John Starks and Reggie Miller with a history one of the uglier moments of their postseason history occurred back in game three of the 93 Eastern Conference first round. Starks headbutting Reggie Miller. And they've gone into it quite a few times over the years. And this is from today. Starks throwing the elbow. Now we just spoke with Dick Pavetta. And he told us the reason they rescinded Starks being thrown out of the game was because Terry Durham, who threw him out, was then told by another official that it was Starks retaliating from a previous elbow. Quite an extended period for John Starks at the point guard position. And now Charles Oakley looking for a flagrant foul to be called on, on Indiana that he was hit with one earlier. But it will not be a flagrant. Reggie Miller is called for that foul. And it will be a... Back then, was there a, a real rivalry to you guys? I know the fans had rivalries. We didn't like Reggie. <laughs> I didn't like him either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I didn't like him either. Uh, at that time, because, you know, back then you had to earn your stripes. Right. As a player, as a rookie coming into this league, you had to earn your stripes. Nothing was given to you. It's a little different now, uh, being a young player, but back then, you literally had to pretty much fight your way into this league. And so, some guys probably give you a pass that you're playing against, and some guys don't. You know what I mean? Because they didn't get a pass. Right. And so Reggie was one of those guys. 
You know what I mean? He didn't get a pass. He literally had to be tough enough to play in this league because obviously he's 6'8", but he wasn't built. Right. You know what I mean? So people didn't think he was tough enough to play in this league and they would come at him. But he proved that he was tough enough to play in this league. He right. passed the test. Mm -hmm.